My name is Maureen Deritu. I'm the founder of the Attic Ushering Services Limited. This is an ushering company that ideally provides professional ushering services uh, within the corporate events, weddings, burials, uh, birthdays, um, promotions and such like. Ideally why I started the Attic Ushering Company was because I realized there was a need in the ground where girls between the ages of 18 to 24 were involved over the weekends in activities that were not prudent enough or activities that were not well deserving within the community and these activities involved drugs, alcohol, partying all weekend, also working with sponsors to be able to get a stipend to enable them and um, get to have their basic needs. So I've been able to work with a team of 30 girls and these 30 girls I've been able to train them. Ideally what we do is we go around the campuses identifying these girls, we do interviews for these girls and once we get the girls who have different professions or has, are studying for different professions, we bring them on board and provide trainings for them. Part of the trainings we do are one, self-esteem, we also provide um, a training on public relations, we also provide trainings on etiquette and these trainings enable the girl be able to serve our clients in a very professional way and they're able to respond to queries that may arise as they're serving our clients. We have seen a lot of changes come about and we've been able to respond to this particular change. What we do have is a lot of girls wanting to come on board and be able to just be part of the company because they've seen what their fellow classmates or their fellow friends have been able to achieve from this. With a company like this and with the, the need on the ground with the girls wanting something aside from just their basic uh, allowances from their parents is that um, you have to convince clients to be able to provide a job opportunity for you or rather, or rather to, prov to want to see the need of ushering services so that they are able to provide unto you that uh, opportunity to come on board with your girls. So one of the key challenges has been to identify and convince uh, people out there on the need of having professional services. We have five girls who oh, through this have been able to get internships and two of them have also been able to get permanent jobs through our networks and they have been, their, their strengths and skills have been identified through working, through, through working with us where clients have seen that they are professional, clients have seen that they have what it takes in terms of a positive self-esteem and that they're able to be able to they're able to handle clients in the right way. For us to be able to, to be successful of course would require the support of different people and our key people and key players that we work with are event planners uh, for example La Vida Events who've been very great, gracious enough to be able to provide us with different platforms where these girls can be able to provide their services and their professional services in this and we've also managed to uh, work with our girls because what we also want to do is as much as we're working and reaching out to these girls and providing unto them this platform, we also want them to be able to do the same thing back at home in terms of giving back to the community. So ideally what our girls do is that the days in which we do not have ushering services, they also come on board and support um, a team called Simama Nadada Initiative, where Simama Nadada Initiative works towards keeping girls in school through mentorship. Women who are wondering where do I start, how do I bring about change within the community, what I'd like to tell you is that it's never too late. You can start as, as, as of now, as from now, and it's that one thing that you have a passion for. For me, Attic Assuring Services were not just because of the money. Ideally, Attic Assuring Services were because I felt they had a need and I've always wanted to give back to the community through mentorship. And I looked for ways in which I can mentor these girls, but at the same time provide a source of living for them.